Pumpsig is. <laughs> That's the Beale Heights Manor M. This is the Beale Heights Manor, but the gym itself is the steel yard. Steel yard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have two exercises in the first round. Yep. Now, the first one's going to be really challenging to do. And you never really struggle with it. So you're just going to start down on the, on the ground, under the bar. I think we should have enough height here. Yep, that'd be perfect. Now, you've got two choices here. You can either have the hands over or have the hands under. Hands under, the hands, sorry, up, up, under the bar is a little bit, a little bit more uh, challenging. Hands over is a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna hang under the bar, just like that. I'm just gonna pull up. Yep. Okay, so that's that version or just this version. Ideal world, your ass will stay pointed to the ground. Mm -hmm. In an ideal world. <laughs> That's what'll happen. But what'll probably happen is this. Yeah. You can use your hips to get you up to that bar. Yeah. That's okay, because this is going to be really hard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, hard. that will be very hard. Okay. Do you want to go first? Or? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll go another part to it. And the next exercise will be just a bicep exercise. Uh, it's called 21s. So you start with this, just be quite light, but you're gonna come up to halfway for seven. All the way up to the top, halfway for seven, work the top half of the bicep. And then you're gonna work the whole bicep. All the way up, all the way down. Three rounds of seven, obviously equals 21. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's get about it. Okay. How many rounds? <laughs> you have two oh. rounds of this. Okay. That's it, Richard. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get down to the bar. Yeah, sorry, sorry to get you on the ground, Richard. Again, that's the second second session in a row. I'm going to get on the ground. I think it's good because I'll have to. Now this, as I said, this is going really hard. Yeah. So what I want you to do is I want you to get your feet up so they're nice and flat on the ground. Yes, sweet ass. Yeah, that's it. We're just going to pull up to that bar. <coughs> that's all I can do, for real. That's okay. You say it's legs. Can we go for ten? Yep, one. You're fucking hell. It's really hard. <laughs> What's hard is, even though this is a lat exercise, you end up using your biceps too. You do. And then by the time you do those curls, you're, you're burning. That's correct. Which is why we're doing that order. <coughs> I'm just trying to get my ass up in there. Yeah. Uh, Last one. Uh, All things considering, I'd say that's pretty damn good. Okay. I've been a bit ambitious for that one, but you've done it. Oh, let's go.
Oh. It's burning now. All the way up and down. Sick. Oh. Do you want to grab some? Look alright. That was good. Oh, well done. He got his ten out. We just I just missed the first few because it wasn't filming. Oh, okay. Shame you weren't filming that. I filmed that. <laughs> um, that was good. I don't know how much of my feet I'm supposed to be using, but. Oh no, you're going to find initially when you first start with this, you're going to use a lot. Yeah, I was pushing on my heels a lot. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Ultimately, the heels are just there to keep you nice and stable and under that bar. So you have to get to go halfway. Halfway. Why? That's it. Four. Five. Six. And all the way up. Wow. Oh, I to the middle. Yep, and then we come half on. So the first half of the exercise works your bottom half of your bicep. This one, this part of the exercise works the top half. And then we're going to work the whole way. Okay. So oh. how about now, your bicep should be starting to feel a little fatigued. Oh yeah, a little. <laughs> That's it. So... <sighs> With this one, guys, what's been really nice about both of you doing this exercise oh. is you haven't done the old, yeah, mm, or the old elbows forward to get it up. So you haven't tried to engage more muscle. You've just kept it in, and you've just worked your way through. But your arms will be quite pumped up right now. Oh, I can yeah. imagine. So what you're saying is neither of us have any problems getting it up. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, no blue pills required. <laughs> oh, okay, geez, that's it. Good job, man. Six. 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 Well done, mate. That was bloody brilliant. My forearms. Yeah, they're going to burn up pretty, pretty bad. That's it. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get some more light on. Let's make it not really fun. <laughs> That's it. Oh, it's oh. my breath. Are you right? Take your time. I think it's where I messed up on Monday. I um, wasn't breathing properly. Yeah, you can need to take it. Yeah, just halfway. That's the hard bit with this one, to get the halves. Because you naturally you want to go all the way up. <sighs> Sorry. You're right. Let's go to the halves. Don't think about too much, Sam. It's only seven reps. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Eins! <laughs> so this is this is where the work's being done right now. Slightly fatigue the bottom out, slightly fatigue the top out. Now let's go full range. That's it, don't spin it up. Dry. That's it. Bring it out on the power stroke, which is the upstroke. That's it. V. <laughs> <laughs> Fumpf. Last one. Last one. No, this is only six, isn't it? Six. Ah, all right, you one go. Sieben. I'm doing Arnold. <laughs> I watched him count in German the other day. Good job, guys. Oh, my forearms. Oh. <laughs> That's good. How's that, Sam? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I found 
You've done devs before, yes? Yes. Yep. Yep. What's your dev tip? Um, I don't know. You got, yeah? Yeah. Well, I guess it's alright. Are we going to put weight on it or? Uh, no, we're not going to put weight on it because you can lift it above your head as well. Oh, okay. Deadlifts. I'm just going to go another way at the moment, just so I, for, so I can see what your, your style is like. So this is, we'll see how we go with this. So I'm just going to deadlift down, up to there, back down. What are these called? There's a name for these. Um, Snatch. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and that's. First exercise. Then once we've done 10 of those fellas, it'll be 10. Do they sometimes call it a power clean as well? Uh, power clean would be where you went from there yeah. up to that. Oh, right. Right up over here. Oh, okay. I don't think I can pick it up off the ground. Um, I can't get down that low with my butt. It's okay. So I'll have to start here if that's okay. So just remember with your deadlifts, the bar stays close to the leg. Close to the leg to the point where you see someone who deadlifts really well, they generally have long socks on. They have long socks on for a reason. Because yeah. they generally don't have a lot of skin left on their shins. Yeah. And then as you go down, it's a nice straight flat back, hips go back. So you don't actually sit down. You want to go there, and then the bar rolls down. As the bar rolls down, you're going to feel a nice stretch up that hamstring. Yeah. If you're not feeling the stretch up that hamstring, you're doing the squat. Okay. Okay. How many? Just 10. Is it going now or have we got another set? Yeah. So think how we're going to work it. So don't spend too much downtime. So get into it as soon as we can. Yeah, I might just thought after probably Monday. The filming thing is good, but I don't want that to get in the way of your workout. Okay. So what's, I thought I left Monday and I thought, well, that was not a bad first session, but to get you to where you need to be, we've got to get a lot more work in that session. Okay. All right. So what we'll probably end up doing is what we're doing today. We'll do two or three sets and you'll have to run the two or three sets. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can't feel in those hamstrings. You bend in the knees too much. You squat essentially. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You need that water? No, I'm good. Um, my deadlift form is atrocious. Is it okay? We'll fix it. How far are our hands? Just sort of. Oh, that, that, that's your good part. Put that there. We're going to run straight down your legs. Okay. The first thing that's going to happen is your hips are going to go back, hips are going to go back, and that bar's going to run down. That's it. How deep? As deep as you go. And back up. So, yep, that's it. Probably just a little bit more bending those knees for me. He's rounding his back big time. That's it, keep your head up. That's oh, better. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Still those nice hamstrings? Yeah, definitely. Uh. Yeah. So is it just height? There's no difference between a straight leg deadlift and a deadlift, but pretty much. Or well, there's very little I variance. I prefer the straight, well, they call it a Bulgarian deadlift. I think that's what they call it. Whereas your legs are a lot straighter and you don't get that little dip in, dip in the ass at the end. Yeah. I prefer to have your bum in the air and getting that maximum. That's just my preference. Yeah. And I just find that works. Always work well. Eddie Hall doesn't bend down much, the world deadlift champion. No. He he does what to me almost looks like a straight leg or Bulgarian deadlift. Yeah, you'd have a little bit of a little bit of soft knee action happening, but it wouldn't be a lot. Okay. <sighs> He reckons that every time he's in the gym, there's always someone that walks up to him and goes, he's doing it wrong, and he's going to hurt his back one day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, he's the champ, you know? Yeah, he's probably got, what, 800 pounds on there or something. What's his, what's his... He's 500 kilo. 500 kilo. And then Thor did 501 this year. 501, so that's basically 1,000 pounds. Crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, you don't get that. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Just like, knees go back, nice, sorry, hips go back, nice, soft, soft knees, and let that bar run down that leg. Yeah. That's it. So we're just going to persevere with the no weight deadlift for you at the moment, I think, Sam. Okay. Um, we've got to get that technique a little bit better. Yeah. It's okay. I just never got the hang of it, you know. I can feel it in my hammies, but I'm sure I'm probably not doing it right. No, no, it's not too bad. Just hips go back, bum stays in the air. That's it. Head up. The minute you drop that head, you're going to get a curve back. And okay. that's when you're going to get trouble. Okay. Deadlift's a really good exercise. Unfortunately, the problem with the deadlift is it can go wrong real quick and you can stuff it back real quick. That's it, that's it. Oh, you saying bum in the air, I think that's sort of, yeah. yeah. All the rugby league teams, um, many of them use those hex things yeah. to do their squats, you know? Yeah, they do, yeah. Because they, they reckon it does the same thing without the, as much risk of injury. So effectively the same, it's enough the same exercise for them, yeah. yeah. I've lost count, sorry. We want to go presses. Let's go. Give me 10 10 in my flat.
Oh. All right. All right. What's now? So just on pressing over here. Um, when you've got no real weight on a bar or you're using dumbbells, there's a couple of stances you can use to do it. You can use the straight across stance, but then what you tend to find sometimes is if the weights are too heavy, you get that curved spot, curved back, which then lends to lower back issues. I like to lift overhead with one foot forward, one foot back. That way I can rotate my hips under, which activates my core, which keeps a nice straight spine, and then lift. And it, it's a nice strong position to be in. You can't, not gonna fall backwards, you're not gonna fall forwards, because you've got that, those feet to keep you stable but it also works your core as well. So just in one exercise, you can work the whole, pretty much most of your upper body. And that's kind of, kind of the beauty of it. So it's entirely up to you what stance you're going to want to use. Um, if you don't feel you're engaging your core, and a lot of people don't engage their core when they lift over weight, and spit over here, and especially when you start to get fatigued, first thing that's gonna go is your form. And the last thing you want to go is your form when you're lifting overhead. Because you can get stuff back real quick. Awesome. So what are we gonna do? There's more presses. No, no, no more presses. Squats enough. Oh squats. Squats enough. Yeah. Right, okay, we're gonna use a dumbbell first. How strong we feel guys? Uh, we'll see. What would you normally squat? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a squat press. So you're going to hold the weight in front, you're going to squat him down, press him up. Seven and a half, maybe? Yeah, okay. Seven and a half, there we go. Hopefully, anyway. I'll do a trick. I'm, I'm so out of it's okay. you know, condition that no, you're right. who knows. Yeah, we, as I say, we don't want to start off stupid heavy, yeah. or else you're going to wake up tomorrow stupid sore. Yeah. And you're going to go, far out. This is horrible. Yeah. I don't want to wake up like this again. <laughs> so what, in an ideal world, you'll get out of bed probably tomorrow, maybe in the next day actually, because you tend to find older clients get that second day stiffness, whereas someone who's in their, I think, in my experience, in their 16 to mid 20s, they get hit the day after. Why? I don't know. Mm. I haven't really looked it up to find out. But just working with the client base I've worked with, I tend to find that you guys will get, how old are you, Sam? 27. Yeah, no, you still probably get it the, the day after. But absolutely, you'll get it the day after the day. But so many clients message me, man, I'm feeling awesome today. And then on the second day, they go, dude, what did you do to me? <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> All right, so, we're just gonna go down. And it's going to come here, big squat, up to here, press. That's the action. So, this is not the action. Okay. It's, two, it's a two-part exercise. It's squat, hold, press. Okay. So what happens is when the weight gets too heavy or if you know, you're towards the end and you're feeling like you're really struggling, the reason we stop here is you can do a little bounce press, which gets the weight going up in the air. All right, let's roll, let's make that. Got 10 on one side. Beautiful. So the more we work these legs, the less, oh my God, my legs are really sore, you're gonna get. You're still gonna have muscle soreness, but it's just gonna be not too bad. It's gonna be just, you know it's gonna be there. But you know, it's not gonna be an oh my god type setup. That's it. Yeah, that's been my experience with weightlifting. Like I said, the very <coughs> first time I did everything, I felt like I do my legs right now. But as you did it more, it just felt kind of like a mild sort of. Yeah, you get up and you walk down a set of stairs and you'll probably find a bit of tightness in your legs. That's it, that's it. So we're going to sit back on those heels for me. 
That's it. I'll give you that one. You're gonna hold it. I don't know how you hold it. It's gonna be 10 squats, Richard. That's it. That's all. Good to go. You're up. Take time. How the hell are you doing that with your quads? Just fighting? He's doing well. He's doing amazing. Squats are nice. They're tight. They're slow. Your technique's pretty, pretty nice. steady on the heavier weights, but it, as the weeks go by, once we start, you know, our legs start getting used to using weight, we'll, um, <coughs> we'll jack up the weight on those squats. <coughs> <coughs> Last one. <coughs> That's it, Richard. Take a moment. Take a moment. Do you want to scold some water now? Good. Good job, Richard. Good job. When he's um, got his breath, is he going to do another? Yeah, so he's going to do another set. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Need you work hard, Richard. So we're going to have to do at least two sets every start at every stage. Also. I don't think we're just going to get enough in, start to get things moving. Normally when I'm trying two, I'd have you doing one lot of exercises and you doing another lot of exercises. Yeah. There would be virtually zero downtime. Right. Oh, I don't think I'd get, get through a workout with zero downtime at the moment. Uh, when I say zero downtime, you would have time between sets, but it would be a lot continual. So then, say Sam would be doing a nice leg set. Yeah. You'd, you'd be doing an upper body set. Yeah. And then we'd probably do a nice little core set to break it up and then we'd swap it out and then we'd go again. And you'd do the set that Sam was doing and Sam would do your set. Right. And it would be just really, really, really continuous. Right. Really continuous. Oh, I, I, like I say, I, I, at the moment I don't think I could even do it. No, that's okay. Yeah, my fitness is I'm so really happy bad. With what you're doing. Thanks, mate. Just all you get, all you gotta do is just do the best you can. Because I'm pushing some of these some of these sets, I'm pushing to not Spewing, but not far off it. Yeah, no, set, that's you know? okay. I'm pretty bad. Like I've been almost bedridden for yeah. fucking twelve months. Yeah. Um, we'll so what am I doing now? The five again, or yeah, you can do ten and ten. And ten and ten. How about you feel about using that way? That was okay. Okay, let's go with that way then. With for the press as well. Yeah. Um, You're quite feeling that. For the okay. Let's see how we go. <sighs> that's it. Good work. That's it. And all these are just big compound movements. Like this one exercise, you work in just about every muscle you got in your body. Wow. It's kind of the beauty about compound movements. It's very rare that you'll see, unless you're a bodybuilder, you, you'll very rarely do isolated muscle movements at all. Because it's been proven like, time and time again that compound movements are going to get you the best results for overall fitness. That's it, Richard. Keep it going. That's it, mate. You need it, mate. You need it. That's it. Go on, mate. That's it. You want one more? You got it. 
Last one. Sweet as Richard. Take, yep, that's it. Take them out. I'm just straight into it. Yep, take them out. And then we're going to go with our squats. Just got 10 squats and we're going to swap it out. You're doing great, Richard. Squats is sitting right back on those heels. You're a little, a little forward, more than I would have liked on that last set. But you know, it's all about progression, and we want you to be as technically correct as possible because that's the fastest way you're going to get the results. But sometimes when you start to fatigue, your technique will dip. Well, no, every time you start to fatigue, your technique will go out the window fairly quickly. Yeah. So I'm probably going to do 10 squats and I'm probably going to say every squat, sit back on your heels. That's a good idea. Sit back on your heels. Sit back on your heels. And eventually you'll just go, oh, sorry. And then you go, oh, thanks, Richard. You're back on your heels. Good job. Uh, we'll make sure it's Yeah, it's not bad. You're strong. You're strong. I think you got it. There we go. Um, okay. So now. Nice, nice back. So you're going to start up here in this position. Yep. And you're squatting down, up, press. Okay. Nice smooth action. So you're going to sit back on those heels. A little bit like it. That's it. Up, press. That's it. Hey, that's it, Sam. Good. That's it, Sam. Good work. Spot on. Sit back on those. That's it. You're nicely back on those heels. Straight back. Heads up. Excellent. <laughs> Two go, Sam. One. Last one, Sam. Good job. Good job. All right, let's go. The squats are very good. Very happy about squats. Thank you. Nice heels. That's it, Sam. What's up? By sitting back on those heels, you're getting the maximum benefit out of the exercise. That's it, Sam. Good news, Sam. You're halfway there. Oh, I just gotta focus on my breathing. That's it, yeah. That's it. Sorry, I'm going so slow. No, no, never apologise for being slow. I I'd did. sooner see you slow, be thorough and correct, than fast and all over, all over the kitchen. Yeah, never apologise for being slow. This just means you're going to work a little bit harder, but 
So yeah, hold my here, Richard, like that. That's so sad. Yeah, that's it, now go. I'll tell you why in a moment. That's it, sit down, girls. That's better. That's it. That's it, no, two, three. Four. Five. It's not even my legs, it's my breathing. Oh yeah, it'll get ya. Your five go. I'm surprised how little my legs hurt compared to how difficult it was to get out of my car this morning with squats. Yeah, we've, we've done a little bit of leg work today, so what we've, effectively what we've done is we've, we've started to loosen things up a little bit. That's kind of the, the beauty, I, I, I guess. Like, you get people that'll, that'll message you go, no, I can't possibly do my second session this week. I am way too sore. That is when you go and do another session. Yeah. And the reason you do another session is you do another light session, but you just want to get that body moving. Yeah, is it gonna hurt? Hell yeah, it's gonna hurt. But as you warm into the session, the muscle will warm into the session. And by the end of it, you're gonna go, well actually, I know when you were sore as I was when I first came in today. Oh, how good's that? It's true. It's um, it. If here is spewing, I'm like here. <laughs> So that's what we're doing. Good watch. Good watch. I'm gonna do it again. Get shorter. Oh. Alright, let's go. Tanovich? Yep, absolutely. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Easy, easy. That's it. Back nice. Back nice heels. Oh, I forgot to do that. to make sure I'm not sick. Sorry, Dad. Come on. Mind if I guzzle some water? I wouldn't guzzle it. I'd just take a nice little sip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to wet your mouth. Just the more water you take in, put down to the chest. See, I'm going to stroke that out. I'll guarantee it will come straight back up, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, you don't want to um, you don't put too much water in. Just want a nice little, um, just a nice little sip. What tends to tends to happen is because you, you tend to do breathe, people too tend to breathe through the mouth, so they get really dry mouths. And you just want enough water in there just to wet the mouth. Yeah. Yes, I know I'm out because yesterday I pushed through it. Yeah. And that's when I, I go. Okay. It's like, absolutely. All right, let's go. Switch it out. Five? Yeah, you're five to go. Okay. On this side. <laughs> <sighs> Has, has he done both arms? No. Yeah. No. That's only one arm. Do you think he can do both or not? Of course he can. Oh, yeah. Absolutely can. Uh, I just got to let this settle for a second. Or I'm going to be sick. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes this is how it works. Is it a breathing thing or is it... It is a breathing thing. Because oh, I feel like I just don't get enough air in. And I'm... 
Well, essentially, essentially you've done, by the time you finish, you've done 30 squats. So we've, we've used our legs a lot. I'll try and get through all 10. You got this. Nice. That's it. <laughs> Sit back on our heels. Two. There the stand. <laughs> I think everything messed up was um, leg press. I'd always struggle breathing there too. I yeah. Feel sick. <sighs> what would you recommend working on breathing? Like practicing? Just, just breathe, Sam. You're gonna drop down into your squat. That's when you breathe in. And then when you come back up, that's when you're going to breathe out. He's been breathing, hasn't he? I thought he's been breathing. Yeah, you are breathing. I'm just making you do a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's probably more the guts of it. I'm making you do a lot of work. And I'll make, it's very continuous. It doesn't stop. It's not like 10 reps, put the weight down, go off and do something else. 10 reps, go off and do something else. It's just very, very continuous. And it just grinds you down. It's a whole idea of it. Oh, if it weren't for feeling sick, I, like I said, I can't believe my legs aren't sore. Because I was so sore this morning. That's it. Sit back. Sit back on my heels. Bump the hinges back. That's it. On the inside. Oh, yeah. do I need to pass this to you? I'm just going to get rid of this. Is it filming? Yeah. So, what's going to happen is just a little push up set, guys. So, I'm going to do Okay. It's just a push up set. Sure? Yep. Uh, you're on that bar that way? Oh, right, I see, I see. Okay. I'm um, just trying to push any of the buttons because it'll stop recording. So, yeah, it's recording now. Like even the volume buttons make it stop. All right, okay, so I'm gonna go on the over here, I think. All right, Rich, you're on that bar there. All right, so guys, you've got one minute of push-ups to finish, finish the session out. Sure, we'll just have one minute off. One minute off. Okay. Yeah. Okay, time starts now, let's go. That's it, guys. It. Keep it going. 
If you need to take a little break, don't be scared. Don't see anyone throwing up over Richard's carpet. Good news, guys. What? 30 seconds down, so keep going. That's it. That's it, Richard. You're doing nice. Come on, Sam, that's it. Okay, you've got 20 seconds of this round left, guys, and then we're done for today. Finish it off, Richard. Let's go. Come on. Go, Sam. Good work. Last 10 seconds, guys. Done. Thanks, guys. Can I stop this? Yeah. Beautiful.